Hi, uh, my name is Louis Verrou Julien. I'm an uh, interventional cardiologist at the St. Francis Emory Healthcare in uh, Columbus, Georgia. I specialize in CHIP CTO. Um, and I would like to thank uh, SAI for giving uh, me the opportunity to um, talk about the, their new product, the Silverway Wire, uh, today. So uh, for those of you uh, who are not um, used to the silver wire, it's a relatively new product in um, the SI uh, catalog. Uh, it is uh, it has the particularity compared to other uh, J wires on the war on the market that the uh, Act One technology, which is uh, which has been in coronary guide wires for uh, quite a while, um, uh, has been uh, in uh, introduced to the uh, older the five wire uh, in the proximal. Uh, shaft uh, of the wire, uh, which uh, gives uh, to the silver wire uh, increased torqueability and maneuver maneuverability in uh, even very torturous uh, uh, arteries uh, like the radial artery and uh, subclavian can be. The distal um, portion of the wire has a, a double coil structure, uh, making it uh, very visible on fluoroscopy and also um, very soft. Uh, which makes it very uh, safe, uh, even in uh, tortuous arteries with uh, side branches. So let's dive a, a little bit deeper in um, the characteristics of the wire. Uh, as we said, it's an O35 guide wire. Uh, the distal 15 centimeters are coated with a silicone, which makes it hydrophobic and uh, therefore very safe in uh, uh, tortuous vessels with uh, side branches, uh, as opposed to uh, for example, glide wires uh, that are sometimes used uh, to cross tortuous vessels. The um, mid portion of the uh, of the wire is uh, hydrophilic coated um, with the slip coat technology on a 65 centimeter uh, length, uh, which makes it very uh, easy uh, to deliver even in very uh, tortuous vessels. And again, the uh, proximal hydrophobic uh, uh, portion uh, of the wire makes it uh, very uh, easy to handle, and uh, in combination with the Act One technology, it makes it very uh, easy to maneuver. And uh, in fact, because of this uh, Act One technology, the wire uh, almost has a one-to-one -one, uh, torque response uh, from the prox proximal portion of the wire to the tip of the wire. The uh, silver wig guide wire is available in uh, three different shapes: the regular three millimeter J uh, tip, uh, which is very common uh, on the market, but also the 1.5 millimeter J, uh, also called baby J. And it also comes in an angled 60 degrees uh, tip. Um, and importantly, the tip of the uh, silver weight is shapeable. It actually comes with a uh, shaping tool, which is very uh, useful. And it makes it very easy to navigate in the, all type of, uh, of peripheral uh, artery uh, anatomies. As many other guide wire, it is uh, stretchable simply by uh, pushing the body uh, of the wire towards the tip, uh, as is shown in this video, and as we uh, are all used to do uh, interventional cardiologists. So uh, I would like to show you some cases where uh, the silver wheel guide wire was useful to uh, get to the ascending aorta and, um, and the coronaries. Uh, so let's start with the first case. Uh, which was a 66-year-old male with ischemic cardiomyopathy. He had an LVEF of 35%, and a, the uh, left heart cat uh, showed severe LED disease with true bifurcation lesions and a circumflex to OM uh, CTO. At the time of the uh, left heart catheterization, the radial access was abandoned, uh, and there was no reason mentioned in the report, and we didn't, we didn't have the films to review, so we didn't know why it was not possible to uh, get through the radio, but nonetheless, the uh, operator switched to the femoral artery and got uh, the diagnostic cat done. Uh, the patient was then a surgical turn down. He was, uh, for this reason, referred for percutaneous revascularization, and the first procedure was done uh, from the femoral approach. He was brought back to the cat lab for the LED PCI. Because we didn't have access to the uh, the previous films or um, or, or and we didn't have any information regarding why the radial access was abandoned, we uh, tried again uh, through the radial, uh, thinking that we would be able to uh, make it through the radial approach. And we likely encountered the same issue as the first operator. Uh, here we used a, a cordless emerald uh, J-wire, 
uh, so pretty standard J-wire, and it didn't cross uh, at the level of the elbow, so we removed the wire, and even though we had a relatively uh, small tortuosity at the, uh, the level of the elbow, uh, I think it shows well that uh, the limitation of, uh, of other J-wires on the market at crossing even uh, relatively uh, small tortuosities. So which we switched to uh, the silver wig guide wire, and you can see here it, it took a side branch, but because of the hydrophobic tip, it's very safe and we didn't have any issue there. And easily we were able to navigate to the, uh, to the brachial artery uh, simply by uh, torquing the wire. And uh, at the end, you can see that the artery stretches out uh, very nicely uh, with the increased support of the, uh, the proximal shaft. And we were then able to reach the uh, ascending aorta and we performed a uh, triple bifurcation LED PCI with a good final result. The next case uh, was an 80-year-old uh, female with a history of hypertension and hyperlipidemia that presented with an inferior STEMI. And um, we were not able, again, with the Cordis Emerald, which is our uh, the J wire that we have, the O35 J wire that we have uh, at uh, our institution, we were not able to uh, cross the subclavian tortuosities and, and reach the uh, the ascending aorta. Uh, unfortunately, in the context of a STEMI, we uh, we didn't think of uh, saving uh, the wire uh, advancement, but uh, I think this angiogram shows that the, the subclavian tortuosity is quite severe. So we switched uh, rapidly to a, a silver regard wire. And again, uh, you can appreciate how uh, easy it was to uh, just wiggle the wire uh, through the tortuosities and to the ascending aorta. And you can see the uh, subclavian uh, stretching out very nicely with the increased support of the wire. And then good support to bring uh, the guide catheter uh, down to the aorta. And very quickly, uh, because of this... Uh, because of the guide wire of the silver wave, we were able to uh, to treat the uh, the RCA lesion and get a final a good final result, and the patient uh, did very well. I would like to show you a last exa example. This time from the femoral uh, artery. Uh, this one was a 60 year, 68 year old female with a history of cabbage in uh, 2019. Um, she presented with a non STEMI, and uh, the heart catheterization showed a patent lima, but essentially uh, all the SVGs were occluded. And uh, in terms of native coronaries, there was severe LED to diagonal lesion, uh, as well as a, a severe cirque, uh, severe cirque to OM bifurcation that required uh, to be treated. We uh, asked surgery to see her. She was a turn down. And uh, for this reason, she was referred for high-risk PCI. So we got access uh, in the right a common femoral artery, took a femoral shot with uh, the micropuncture kit, and uh, we didn't see any severe um, tortuosity in the uh, the external iliac um, or the, the common femoral artery, but nonetheless, uh, at the level of the iliac, uh, the cordis emerald would not cross uh, to the aorta. So we switched to the silver way, which uh, very easily navigated to the aorta, and we were able to bring our equipment um, uh, to the coronaries. So this was the pre uh, the diagnostic angiogram at the beginning of the procedure. You can see uh, severe circumflex and OM bifurcation and very severe calcifications in the uh, LED to diagonal uh, artery. Uh, so after rotational atherectomy in the LED to diagonal, uh, we treated the left main bifurcation in a DK crush fashion and the circumflex to OM uh, in a culotte fashion with uh, a good final result. So this is what uh, I wanted to uh, show you. Uh, regarding the silver wig guide wire, I think it's a very uh, good uh, guide wire. Um, it's now uh, our go-to at our institution. Uh, and um, I cannot recall any case where we needed to switch to another guide wire, actually. Uh, it is very safe uh, and at the same time, very effective, uh, very torqueable. Uh, so that's kind of our, our, our go-to, um, whether it is from the radial or the femoral approach, it doesn't matter. Um, and I think these cases very nicely show that uh, whether it is at the level of the radial, brachial, subclavian, or femoral artery, other uh, O35 guide wire uh, can have limitations. 
and the silver way is able to solve uh, most of these limitations. Thank you very much for your attention.